Greetings Internet, DDA here and welcome to another deck profile video for Man and Honor Gaming. This is a special edition deck profile video because I have with me the winner of the North Kai Championship. We have Kevin Dennis who piloted his protective future Gohan all the way to victory, barely, barely suffering a loss that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, he uh, just uh, has a well-tuned list where, which we are happy to roll out and share with you. So, I'm here with Kevin. How are you doing today, Kevin? I'm doing pretty well, man, considering, considering yeah, I'm doing pretty well. So, it's about a week after uh, North Kai, so has it, has it fully sunk in? Has, are, you, are you down off of your cloud? <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm really not. I mean, like, uh, it's only started to settle in, like, later this week when uh, uh, most of the week, you know, I did the report a couple days ago, but the, real, the part that really makes it settle in is the, the opportunity that you get to design a card. And I've been working, uh, not, well, I don't want to say working, but like, I've been putting a lot of time into it. It's still super early. It's not even close to testing yet, um, but I'm pretty pumped about getting this thing put out. So um, Awesome. That's, that's where this, this, surreal, this surreal nature of this comes in, when you're yeah. actually making the card. Well, we're happy to, well, you can't wait to see what you come out with. But, of course, we're here for the deck and the deck profile, so let's just scan over the list real quick. Mm -hmm. So this is, of course, Future mm -hmm. Gohan Protective. Mm -hmm. So why would you choose this deck, Kevin? Uh, basically, uh, a couple the couple weeks preceding this tournament, I, I was in a pretty pretty rough spot with this game. I was pretty upset with the decks I've been playing. I was playing a lot of red ball decks. Uh, you know, you know, very very, you know, really intricate control decks. DBV, MPV in the same deck. Um, and it's never really been my play style. And just I was getting very frustrated, so I just decided to throw everything out and just go back to my roots. Which uh, protective has always been my favorite mastery in the game. Uh, it fits my play style, and then, you know, hence why I jump back to it. But what really did it for me is that it has a very good oppressive Vegeta matchup, and that deck was the deck that I hate. I hate the most in this game. It's just incredibly uninteractive. But uh, the bonus with the like the mastery, you need the six anger to level, so it keeps him in combat, so he can't do the three four jump as effectively, mm -hmm. and. You don't have to get an action to be able to lower his anger. You can block with the mastery and lower his anger. And really, once he's stuck in combat, then you can go to work. Yep. Um, so that's, that was pretty much the motivation. The, plus the MPV matchups, it's very it's very strong in favor in the MPV league. Okay. So now uh, that's the list. So now let's go over the attacks. So here we have the attacks. There's actually 28 attacks in this deck, which is... Very respectable for like a, a mid-range slower control, uh, slower uh, aggro. Not even aggro, like just a mid-range jack. Mid-range, you know, it's closest to the control control part of the spectrum. Um, I mean, what, what my favorite part about this entire suite is that uh, a lot of decks in the past I've run two wells, one wells, you know, kind of splash in a bunch of different versatile stuff. But with this deck, I felt very good about running a lot of three ofs. Um, it's very easy to keep track of what's in your deck. Uh, you don't have to think about, oh, do I play two of this or one of this? Like, I check my discard, my vanish, where is it at, how many, what's in my deck? Uh, it makes it very easy to keep track of. Um, so why don't we start out here with uh, the first guy? Blue Slash, uh, if you're make, in like 90% of blue decks, I don't want to say 100, but 90, 95, you're going to be running three of that. Uh, it just, it's an insane, insanely strong card. Uh, especially in like a same matchup, they have a ton of endurance. Any deck that has a ton of endurance, it just blows right through it. Um, so with stuff like Blue Slash, you'll see later if it's Sinister Choke, uh, Future Gohan Level 2. There are just so many strong physical attacks that just drill through the light deck. And um, which one are you going to block? That's my question. Are you going to yeah. block the Slash, Choke, Clash, Level 2? It's all unpreventable, so you're not really going to be able to do much against it. Mm -hmm. So Slash, don't have to say too much more about that. Uh, next here we got Betrayal. Uh, there are some people who are trying to get you to drop down to two blue yeah, Betrayal. Uh, betrayal, like, I just didn't want to be somewhere in a game where I'm like, oh, I wish I played three, especially... Uh, I, the one matchup I was afraid of was Krillin, which is a giant board. Uh, so I did not want to drop Betrayal at all. Um, and I actually ended up playing two Krillin on top, so you know, it, it paid off in spades. Definitely. Um, a couple of Mechian matchups, you know, whenever I saw a Dragon Clan, a Radar, a Growth, I knew as you know, as soon as I see betrayal, hold on to it. I know it's gonna pay off. Yeah. So betra three betrayal, three slash, uh, three smugs. Uh, I am running two unleash, so they are my unleash uh, uh, tutors. When you have smug attach, so basically, one of the better plays in the deck, you know, one of the primary plays is when you un are ready to unleash from one to two. You go get smug, and immediately once you get smug attached, you level two, 
you're low in their anger three every time you use your power. Yeah. On top of the mastery, if you so you have a one time per combat block and a one time per use of level two, you're low in five anger at a time every combat. Um, and with the six anger you need to level for the opponent, it it it, it just locked down. Unless you know unless they use auto advancement, like they're really not gonna level at all as long as you uh, keep on top of their anger. For sure. Um, head knock. Three ofs, don't have to say too much yeah, about that. We it's just talked about, yeah, we just talked about uh, uh, hating on MPPV. Decap is pretty much a fourth, fifth, and sixth card for all the ones we just talked yeah. about. Um, it's insanely versatile. One of the games I played against Az in round two, he was a press of draw coup. My opening hand was Confro Slash and Decap. That is probably like the best hand you could ever ask for in any blue deck. Confro go to the block, they're going to take 14 off the top. Yeah, for sure. Amazing. Uh, blue Arrest, I have as a one of. Um, I did drop it for Blue Excitement uh, the night before the tournament, but about 20, 30 minutes before the tournament. Um, and then, Actually, I played a game the night before, and then uh, Arrest, what it does, it really helps uh, your Blue Clash. Uh, clash goes into uh, tutors from the Banish and the Life Deck, but if your, stuff, if your allies are in the discard, their Clash is useless. So Arrest will put three back in the deck. Also, it's great uh, to give you three cards back in the deck late game. Um, yeah. A lot of times, you know, if you can, as long as you can keep four cards in your deck late game, uh, you can really close out a lot of games because uh, you're really trying to play, play the life card disparity yeah. while you're progressing through your game. It's a little chip life cards too, so it's good. Three endurance, oh, yeah. incredible! Can't chip. go wrong with three you know. endurance. Yep. Uh, we got chokes. Every every blue deck there ever will be and ever was has to run chokes. They've always had an issue with crits, and especially in resolute. Uh, you know, it's six life cards, but choke is so huge. Again, when you pair it with slash and you pair it with decap. And when you play with the level two, you're just drilling damage, drilling their life deck, uh, and you can't say enough about choke. It's it's just uh, every blue deck has to run through. Yep. Yeah, one thing that we were talking about before we hit uh, record was that how good choke is for future Gohan, especially because with the minus one life card on on all of your levels, your your opposing chokes, the opposing chokes against you, do not crit. Yeah, and that that actually came up a lot. Uh, uh, chokes being great in the pickle knowledge matchup, so I can crit the balls. Uh, both of them play chokes, but when they throw it, it's only doing four life cards. Yep. Uh, the draw coup matchup, uh, static is only you know it's, it's still doing five, but it shuts off uh, the plus one on the level one. But over the course of the game, if they throw ten attacks that do ten, that do life cards, all of them, yep. you just save yourself ten cards. So you know when you're down to six life cards and you win and you win with only a few left, that's basically what won you the game. So for sure. Uh, OPA. Uh, you need you need ally you need to get your allies in play. Uh, you don't want to get stage locked. You want stuff like, you know, in a in a pinch you can get ox game for rejuve. Chi Chi Icarus Piccolo Bulma is what was one of the best allies all day. Bulma's uh, amazing. Always, she came in the clutch twice and won me matchup. Won me that game twice by herself. Um, but just if you're playing control, you have to be able to stop what the opponent is doing. So you know between running three spheres, three confers, Bulma. Is sort of kind of like a mini black deck, you know, kind of sweeted into one ally. So, yeah. Um, she really put in work. So. Um, yeah, bringing out those allies on demand with this card, like Ox King. Absolutely. And, yeah. Especially if you have an ally on board and their first play is the is the crit. <clears throat> well, you know they're trying to get an ally out of play, so you just hold on to your OPA and be able to get them out from any from any zone outside the Ash. Awesome. So uh, stuff like even Roshi. Roshi, you know, Roshi is just one of the most powerful allies in the game. So. Uh, you always want to be able to get an ally on play at, on demand. For sure. Now, Neckbeam, I feel like Neckbeam for you is like a 50-50 card, because you often talk about how much you hate this card. I It's it's still solid. It's uh, better in protective because you can use it for four stages yes. with a physical attack. Uh, and that did that did come into play a couple of times. I discarded Neckbeam to gain four stages. In so the Ruthless matchup? Uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if I did it that day, um, but in, a, in that match, but... Being able to pitch that for four stages and then throw your OPA to get another ally and additional five stages. Very true. You just gain nine stages plus a block plus you know. Plus you get a five to... card, five life card attack. Exactly. Um, yeah. But the, the endurance is all right. Um, but again, the name of the game right now in the meta is MPPV. And again, playing three elves and everything. I, I same thing as betrayal. I don't want to get in a situation where I'm like, oh man, I wish I had a third of this one to save me a game. Yeah. Uh, neck beam. You know, pretty much won me, won me at the end of the game against Retribution Krill in the top four. So, um, again, I just wanted to play the max amount of my tech and just 
you know, not have not leave the tournament with any regrets. So there you go. good job. Now, one thing I think interesting uh, about this list is you play Clash, and Clash really doesn't have the potential to crit in this deck. No, it doesn't. Uh, so I found that interesting. Clash, um, you have. It, I'm not tagged, so you have to run Clash to get stuff out of the banner zone. Uh, plus, in case they ever do a blue betrayal or an orange stare down um, or a red energy blast, just make him pay for it when you do an 8 life card attack dance and a crit. It doesn't happen, it rarely happens, but um, just being able to do 4 life cards, no, no endurance. So you're talking right. about 3 slash, 3 choke, level 2 in clash. You're talking about 9 attacks plus your decaps. That could be 12 total cards that they cannot endure. So it's just right off the top of the deck. Um, so, it, you know, it's only 4 cards, but uh, late game, it's, it's, I mean, late game it's going to help if you need an ally from the banish. You absolutely need to get them out of there, so... Nice. Alright, that's it for the attacks, and now let's go over the events and blocks. So these are the events and blocks, and I know that Kevin is excited about talking about the blocks, because, you know, this is a protective deck, so blocks are important. Definitely. Um, uh, the way the way this deck, the, I mean, the way this block line developed is that Diddy and I actually, we played in a Press the Trunks matchup early after Set 10 came out. And I pretty much wanted to build the most anti anti MPV anti anger deck possible. So stuff like blue fist catch, blue defensive stance that don't ever see play because all they do is lower anger. Um, in this meta, they were the, it was the perfect block line to run. Um, but you know, it's it just it, the anti anger is insane. You got three three blue deterrence, lowers two, and you have to think about it with smug punch. Uh, um, it doesn't have to be two to with unleash. Once once you use it, it attaches to your MP. So. Uh, deterrence turns into a lower three on the defense. Fist catch is a lower two on the defense. The mastery is a lower two on the defense. Defensive stance yeah. lower two. Narrow escape is just money. Three endurance throwing those OPAs back on the top of your deck. Throwing other clashes. Narrow, clashes throwing other other narrow escapes on top for endurance protection. Yeah, narrow escape or narrow escape on top is it's just the best. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's great. So wrong. Um, but uh, topping OPA was great late because it gives you another attack. It gives you. Um, can sometimes even give you an ox king or a chi chi late. That can be super, fr super freaking important. Um, time. Don't need to really yeah, talk about that. We can skip that. Time. Um, hey, two, now so, interesting I, uh, that you ran two unleashed instead of three, or and instead of Gohan's backlash. So you definitely have to comment on Gohan's yes. backlash. Um, I uh, when I share my list with other guys in our in our group, uh, I got I got a little flack for not running backlash, and that was actually a testing decision. Um, I, I, I used to run backlash in this, but if you look at it, if it hits, you have to level. You have to jump off one, and when at the end of the combat, you have to go back down to two. You can't go back down to one. Uh, that level one is so important in so many matchups. Um, uh, it was great, you know, especially against yeah. a Draku or a, a Krillin deck. Um, Piccolo level two, combat uh, the, the set one, premier one. Uh, that was a great one to be able to turn off. Um, it's just that level one is just so integral to what you're doing, shutting down your opponent, and then at that point it's just what's in my hand versus what's in their hand. Yeah. Um, and protective, but protective, you know, you basically almost have the advantage with all the value attacks that you have. Um, uh, so no, there was no backlash, unleash, uh, same kind of thing. Uh, I'm only running two. Uh, I didn't want to run three because once I see it, you basically want to use it. Um, but again, a mo majority of the game, we'll say 60 to 70 percent of the game, you want to be on one. So uh, I, I think I thought Unleash was a little too much, three of them at least. So two, I thought the two was the perfect number. Uh, there were some levels I lost. If, if I lost them early, I was kind of screwed. But um, the deck has a lot of defense and a lot of life card damage pushing, uh, and that you can endure. So. Um, it's not the it's not the most awful thing in the world if you lose them early, but um, three yeah. was too much. Two was a great number. Um, next to there, we got three spheres. The name of the game is Control, and thank you, Josh Gregory, Charlie Studio. So, uh, tell tell me it's Control. You got to run three spheres. It's meta. You have Unleash. You have Confer. You have Stare Down. You have Jutes. You have Hybrids. You have Overtimes. Name any great event in this game. Um, sphere was what I do not top in this event without running three spheres. Yeah. Um, Round two, I run, round two. Azeroth had me in a time loop with Goku level three, and basically once I was in there, I just I just I just waited until a sphere gravitated to my hand, and as soon as it did, that, you know, on turn two of time, 
that's when I was able to take uh, take the actual game through. So three zeros right now is excellent. Nice and three confrontations as well. Yep, uh, three confros. Uh, as long if I can get hand knowledge, hand knowledge and protective is insane because you know exactly what the best attack in their hand is. You know exactly what attacks to pitch because a lot of times you're stuck with one. You have two guard hand. It's, they're both attacks, and then one's an energy combat, one's a physical combat. If you throw the wrong one, and then they throw you one that you can't block, or you can't, you don't have something to pitch, you can get screwed. So using Confro to not only get rid of their best card, uh, but also um, know what attack to block is super integral. Plus, yeah. again, it's control. You want to limit what your opponent's doing. So uh, that 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 whole that last sentence right, right there I said was a big reason why three three is three Confros. For sure. And. All right. Pay off in spades. That's it for the events and blocks. Now let's wrap up with the planning cards. All right, so now we're gonna go over the planning cards. So we got we got 13, 13, right? I think thirteen. Seven allies, five uh, five setups, and then one Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. uh, the ally suite. I've always been I've always been a huge proponent of the hero allies. They're amazing for control. Uh, you got Bulma, Chi Chi, Piccolo, Roshi, Icarus, Krillin, and Ox King. Uh, the fact that future Gohan, not just Gohan, gets the uh, the Holy Trinity of Piccolo, Chi Chi, and Icarus is amazing, and Ox King as well. It is just incredible that he gets that. Yeah. So he is a premier control MP. Um, Icarus, you know, has the potential to add four or five cards back to your deck every game. Roshi, Hello. hey buddy, uh, Roshi. There was I played a Rufus Draku, and Roshi was in play. And at the end of combat, he discarded two Unleashed, and wow. I nearly, I nearly shit myself. I'm like, well, wow. if Roshi's not in that, in the play that that combat, <laughs> I lose the game right then and there. Wow. Uh, so you know, a decks like like Krillin, Speedball decks, you know, Retribution in general, like the people are trying to crack the deck, and Roshi is easily one of the best allies in the game right now. Um, so you know, Krillin, Krillin was is my tech one. Uh, for he was mainly in, he, I mainly used him for tactical drill. Yeah. Um, if they have to, and I saw a section trunks round one, and then uh, amplified Krillin in top eight. Uh, without him, I lose both those games um, because you know I'm lowering a crap ton of anger if I can't get rid of uh, tactical drill. Um, betrayal doesn't really make sense because freezing beam they can and stop they can right. get out of the banish or discard. Yep. Uh, so I have to be able to get rid of it out of turn. So mm -hmm. um, this, it's made out of sweet. It made, it made pretty much sense. Uh, yeah. One, I uh, one I did want to add was Oolong. But the reason why I didn't add him is because I want to be selfish. Because like if I if I crit the balls, I want to use the effects too. Yeah. So that was, the, and if I'm playing an Earth Ball deck, uh, I need to be able to shuffle their balls in yeah. when I cap them good point. to slow them down. So I, that's why I didn't run Ulong. Um, but nice. it's pretty, pretty much a good ally suite. I wouldn't change anything right now. And of course, VTP we have here. Yep. Visiting the past, obviously, you know, you're playing defense. You have to get the best card out of your discard, as well as if you're playing if you're in a leash deck, you have to run VTP. You have to. Fetching yeah. a leash is probably like the second or, best play. Or, or the smug punch. Yes, or smugs. Uh, especially if you're out of the deck, you can be screwed. So uh, VTP is always, always one of the best utilities in the game. Um, to yes. the right here, we got Earth Ball 2. Uh, I, it wasn't there, but I was kind of worried about the Mischievous 17 matchup. Um, he can destroy my hand, and I'm only really working with four cards in, in my hand at a time. And my hand is my biggest resource. It's my mastery trigger. So uh, Earth Ball, I had to use it. Um, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, it yeah. definitely, you know, I lowered probably three people three people that day, so uh, it definitely paid off. Nice. And then... Ah, uh, the Holy Grail, here we here, go. Here is one of the best cards in the deck, not only the deck, but in blue right now. Blue Stylish Pose, thank you, Matt Tambor. Uh, I actually played him in round four. I introduced myself, I thanked him for the card, I told him it was great, it's exactly what blue needed. And he actually beat me, so, I mean, it's fitting. Like, I can't beat the guy that created the, you know, the, the deck that almost not the deck the the card that almost put blue back back on the map in the meta not um, almost man two protective decks it is, in the top oof, four oof, it, this card i cannot say enough all all i will say about this card is round five i'm playing against pickle and knowledge and this crit is huge so he dropped uh his second namekian growth which rejuve kills this deck rejuve and mill carries my strategy completely because you're trying to play off the life card disparity and grind out to a win uh, he played ball four the same turn and passed to me. My next draw, I drew into one of these guys. The, you know, I didn't care what was in my hand. I had to play it, enter, and use that to cap his ball four, as it wasn't his only ball in play. I capped the ball four, killed both growths, and that's essentially almost what won me the game. So, yeah. Um, one, you know, 
probably the one of the biggest swing plays of the day for me. Um, this car is awesome. I cannot say enough about it. Puts an ally to full against Broly with his stupid reveal crits. It's just so invaluable, and it's alive from the hand as well. So yeah, uh, just it's it's an amazing card. I can't say enough about it. Really good card. Okay, great. All right, so to kind of wrap up the uh, the deck profile video here, I guess we'll we'll just uh, finalize with one question, of course. Uh, so, what ultimately made you decide to play the deck, and what's your favorite? So, two part question, and then what's your favorite thing about the deck? Uh, what ba what basically made me play the deck is one, I wanted to go back to my roots, and my favorite mastery is just my natural play style, my natural way of thinking. Uh, I felt very confident in the deck the entire day. I never really felt you know, in fear of losing until the, until the Krillin match, you know, Krillin's amazing, but um, it just really paid off because one, you know, if things didn't go my way, uh, I felt comfortable, I felt very confident how the deck was going to perform, so um, I never really got out of, got into a state where I was kind of nervous about how the game was going to play out. Uh, you, have very, you have very good control of the whole game, so um, that plus, you know, oppressive Vegeta one, one West Kai, um, MPV, I, I, I had the idea that MPV was going to be huge. Retribution, Amplified, Ascension Trunks, definitely. I had to beat those two decks, uh, Oppressive Vegeta and Ascension Trunks. That's what this deck does, so that was basically my reason, my, my reason playing it. Cat nice. MPV and Future Gohan basically takes care of the rest. All right, and what's your favorite thing about the deck? Uh, that... <laughs> Uh, guys, who people who know me, I got a little, I got a little flag at North Guy as well. Five of my games went to time. Uh, only had one draw though. Only had one draw, but uh, we both agreed that if it was one more turn, I was going to end up with the win. Uh, but five of my games went to time. It's a stasis deck. It just turtles and plays defense and just pokes and pokes and pokes. That, if anyone has known me, that is my style of play. Yeah. I like just um, slowing the game down, playing it on my terms. And basically not letting you do what you do, and just make yeah. it pain. It's not, it's, I don't want to make it painful for you, but <laughs> yeah, you do. I it, <laughs> it dates back to score and score Z. I played stasis decks all the time. My games would last an hour and a half because my deck just stops the game and lets it grind to a halt. That's how I like playing the game that way. And this deck is just perfect for me. And at the same time, I'm lucky enough it was perfect for this meta. So yep. everything just came together perfectly. I can't say enough about this deck. Awesome. Please play it. Play it. If you want to be yeah. MPPV, if you just if you hate losing to it, play this deck. You will not lose to it. If you want to frustrate all your friends and have really long yes. games, play it. Yes. All right. Well, thank you, Kevin, for doing this deck profile. And congratulations again on your win, North Kai 2018. Thank you. See you guys.